In this video I will show you how you can use the timer on a Hotpoint Ariston HR632B electric hob. This one is a really nice electric hob, it's brand new. I'm even cleaning the fingerprints off of it, it collects a lot of fingerprints. But I was trying to see how to use the timer and it seems a bit unusual. So I wanted to show you how to use it. In hot point Ariston electric timer, electric hob with the touch controls like this. You can set the on and off from the power button. And when you want to set to start the one of the heaters, one of the hot plates, you select the one you want to choose. You press one of these areas, four areas plus one, it's five areas this one. And if you press a second time after you choose the power, you can choose from one to 99 for setting the timer. So this is going to be a countdown timer. I choose the zone here, the left lower plate. And when I press again, I can choose the number of minutes, the amount of minutes. This is really how it works. And you can, once you set it, you can also modify it afterwards. It's not uh, really fixed. So now when you see a dot next to the number, the hot plate number, it shows you the power from zero to nine. 0 is off, 1 is the lowest and 9 is the most powerful and when you see a dot next to it, as you see now that means it has a timer active this is 5 power 5 on 6 minutes on the lower right one it's pretty easy once you get used to it but for the, for the beginning it's a bit unusual I guess so the one on the left also has a timer. The one on the right also has a timer. They both have a timer. I can change the power on the left or even turn it off. And now it's off. And the H indicator means it's hot. And if it's blinking like this, it means the, the hot area, the heating area is still, the heating element is still hot. The, this area, so you shouldn't really touch anywhere near there. Now I have a timer on power 6 for 10 minutes. Pretty easy. Once you get used to it, it's really no big deal. It took me some time to realize how to do this. I'm not sure, maybe, maybe it's not because I'm not used to it. I don't know. So this one goes power 3 to 5 now. And I set the timer to a few minutes. Here I wanted to see how much it goes. And it goes up to 99 minutes. If you try to increase it, it goes back to zero to disable the timer. But if you long press it, if you keep pressing it, it goes faster. You don't have to keep pressing it on and off, on and off all the time. So that's pretty nice. I don't know how to disable the beeping on it. I don't think there is a way to disable it. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. This is a timer on, the, on this plate, lower right, power 8. Timer is active. I can change the power level to any other amount and press again to change the timer value also while it's on, while it's running. And this way, if it's I put it on zero timer, it disables the timer. Also, if you turn off the the hob completely, the stove, it will reset any timers you have. So, the easiest way to disable the timers is to turn it off and on again. And now you see the H indicators. They mean 
three plates are hot. They should not be touched. I'm trying to turn it off. And do a reset. Let's see if it shows hot. Well, it doesn't. It's good to know that if if there are any hot areas and I turn it off from the PowerPoint, you should remember that they are still hot even though it doesn't show it anymore. Yeah, that's something not so great about it. It's perfect, it has a timer. Perfect for boiling eggs. I just realized boiling eggs is perfect. No, but boiling eggs usually take. Yeah, it's boiling eggs. I got really used to it here, it was getting pretty easy to change the settings. Yeah, the, the rest of the settings you just change the active heating element. And this one has a fifth heating element for the top left. In the manual there is everything to know about it from the installation, the setup, which someone who is professional should be doing it, to maintenance and troubleshooting, how to operate the control panel, this touch interface, so this is like a touch screen. Most important thing I saw in the manual is not to keep anything hot, a hot dish on top of this control panel, that would be an easy mistake to make. Also, not to spill the liquids around it. The seal on the edges, it's not glue. It's not glued, so there might be some leakage through there. If it happens that any fluid, liquid, water or grease goes through. Otherwise, it looks really easy to clean. Also, if you cook something with the high sugar content and it spills over, you have to clean it up immediately because if something really sugary burns on the stove, it gets really sticky and it would be much difficult to remove later. When you clean the stove, this hob, yeah, for sure, don't use abrasive materials, no need to scratch it. I will put links in the description on of uh, the stove itself and what tools to clean with there are uh, some razor tools where you use a, a blade to cut the burning away from the from the heating elements without actually scratching the glass it's not abrasive it's just scraping the surface anything that is not part of the material the glass material this is the old hob with the buttons, classic buttons, the new one is much nicer.